This video is sponsored by Trugal Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, May 29th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we just had an X 1.4 solar flare that was Earth directed, was from one of our renamed old friends. It has stayed in the M class area for at least four or five hours. We've also had four other M flares already today. Heading over to spaceweatherlive.com and we'll take a quick look at those M flares at, well, just at 0 hundred UTC time, we had an M1.2. At 6.30 UTC time, we had an M1.4. That was followed by an M1.8 at 11.09 UTC time. And an M2.5 at 12.45 UTC time. Now, one thing about these M flares that you should notice is they all come from AR3697. That is our old friend AR3664 that produced so many X flares on its last spin around our solar disk. Now, the X1.45 that we've just had has not been assigned to a sunspot group as of yet, but it was generated by sunspot group AR3697 Beta Delta Gamma, a very complex sunspot group that has actually raised our chances of having an M flare today to 75%. We can change that to 100% and an X-class solar flare to 35%. We can also change that to 100%. Headed over to HMI Intensogram, taking a look at AR3697, the same sunspot that produced the X2.9 solar flare yesterday that was probably much stronger and partially eclipsed by our solar limb. Today, we already have an X-flare produced from it as well. You can see that it's probably not going to be earth facing or have an earth component, but the party is just getting started. We also have several other sunspot groups that are earth facing. Altogether, there are two, four, six, eight, nine earth facing sunspots. And the only one that looks of interest is, of course, 3691, which is our old friend AR36. Six, three. So we now have two large problems on the Earth-facing side of our solar disk. Heading over to GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager, we can see the large X flare here generated by AR3697. And there's most definitely a coronal mass ejection that was produced by this. It's actually visible on Lasco C3. If y'all will remember last time, they showed that none of these large X flares really produced any CMEs. It was extremely strange, to say the least. All right, we have plenty of plasma leaving the sun from all different directions with all those M flares earlier in the day. And we also get to see that X flare right here, right on time, right in the right position created a massive chrome mass ejection, and it looks like it did hit Lasco C3. We will be able to see the X-rays hit the D region of Earth's atmosphere, meaning this, in fact, could have an Earth component to it, uh, although it shouldn't be a direct hit if it does impact Earth. All right, over to our D region absorption prediction center. We've got a lot of M flares that have impacted Earth here. And you can see that it's just one after another here. And this is going to be our X flare here. 
You can see the time step down there, 1427 UTC time. And it lasted so long. It moved over the U.S., over the Caribbean, and over uh, the northern portion of South America, along with all of the Atlantic and some of the Pacific as well. What a long-lasting event. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. That was a flare. And headed back over to spaceweatherlive.com just to check. They have assigned the X1.45 solar flare to AR3697. Again, a very complex sunspot group that has already produced two X flares in two days. Y'all get ready to rumble. We could have a serious flare head towards Earth. Please keep your tinfoil hats out. And ladies and gentlemen, please share our video. Please subscribe if you haven't. And always remember that anything's possible in the bizarro world. God bless you.